I just put the last couple of things in the boat. Gonna head out for a night, solo mission. Try to get a few fish and then cook them up somewhere, maybe behind an island or something like that. I'll show you the boat. Um, we've got the little dinghy on the top. Makes it a bit easier, you don't have to get so shallow with the fiberglass hull. I can just sort of putt in and check out the islands. But this is what I'm going to be staying in today and overnight basically. And let's see how we go, I'm going to take you guys with me and see if we can get some fish, have a bit of an adventure. Basically I just want to film most of it, I haven't done it before. I've Always heading out and always see things that are pretty cool or see, um, you know, some pretty cool fish and things like that. And I, should, I think oh, I should always film the whole thing and, and talk while I go so I can have a look back. So I've just come around the northern headland side and it's looking much better. Not as many caps and less wind. I'll give you a look. There we go, first bit in the water, unloaded. Ground bloody hot here. Nice, eh? Hey? Absolutely gorgeous. Surfing the way. Come surfing. I'd love for him to come in the front of the boat in the wake, but I'm only on my own, so I don't think it's a good idea sitting up on the front and um, trying to film dolphins at the front. Too bad if I go in the drink. That was pretty cool though. All right, suit it up. Ready to jump in, it's hot, I'm keen to get in the water. The water's 29 and a bit degrees, so it's pretty hot in the water too. But, let's see if we can get something to eat. Well, no luck. First spot. Cool little turtle though I saw and gave him a pat, but really dirty. And it's not fun drive, diving in dirty water, so. Next spot. Oh, here we
Wow, that was a good mission. I um, jumped in, had a look around, there's a heap of bait. Um, look, it's on the screen, sort of under me. Not real deep, probably about 10 meters on top of the bombing. And uh, just walked swimming through the bait and then seeing a trout. I, I, I think I got it on video. And um, yeah, shot him, put a good shot in the trout, bring it back. And then I saw a big mackerel um, cruise by underneath me. I'm like, oh, well, must have bring in some more fish. And then I was just swimming around the, the bombing and I got to the side, there's lots and lots of bait. And I just got fixated by this um, turtle swimming and then a GT swimming towards me. And I was just zoned in on it. I didn't realize trout around me or how much was going on. It was really, really cool to swim through the pack of GTs. So what I'm thinking is I've got two trout in now. I just bled them on the ice. So that will be a bit of dinner and brekkie maybe. But what I'm thinking, I'm going to throw a slice or a popper or something at those GTs and see if they're fired up enough to to hit the lure. That would be cool, I think, off this. So it's hard. You can't see the bomb or anything, but um, yeah, let's see how we go, eh? All right. Got the sunscreened up. Got my rod. Ready to go. Hmm. Either a slide. I might put on a stick bait to start. Put this on here. It's going to be hard because I'm throwing across the bommy, and it's possible they'll just reef me. But to get that hit, who cares? I just threw that stick bait a few times at him. Nothing, so I'm gonna pull the anchor. I'm gonna drift the bomby and uh, a couple more throws, maybe a try a slice so it sinks, and then see if I can look up. Go, but it might have been the change of the tide when I was swimming, and um, they might have been a bit more fired up, and now they've sort of slacked off. I don't know, but at least this will get down a bit closer to them. We'll see how we go. I just wanted to smash it. As we all do. Just had a good hit. Something's busting up over there. Let me just try again. Pulled the hooks on him. Oh, something falling, something falling. Okay, here we go. Ready? Didn't take long, straight away. Oh. Let's go again. Come on, baby. Oh. They're swiping it. As soon as I get the camera out, of course. Can't hook one. Oh. Head wing in the If it's a blue, northern blue fin, it'll be right. Oh, he's on it, he's on it. 
go again. He was on it. Oh, for sure, this one. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. He's a good tune, I reckon. <laughs> Woo! Stay on there, mate. Stay on there. He's coming towards me. <laughs> Decent uh, hit. Come on, mate. Oh, he's a little Mac tuner. Beautiful little tuna. Yee nice. Oh, that's what they're eating. Oh, yuck. Hang on, mate. I'll let you go. You. He's off. Now that's fishing. That is awesome. I give you a workout. I was hoping it would be a, a northern um, or long tail, because they they taste pretty good. They're a bit, they're a mac tuna, I'm pretty sure, and they're not as good. I tell you what. I'm gonna go do it again. They're not far over there. I don't know how they're hitting, but that was fine. Come over towards the K. I'll try it again with those tuna, but uh, yeah, it wasn't real good. They sort of must have run out of bait because they would they would hit one or two and then they'd move on really quick, and I could have spent all night chasing them, which I've done before. So uh, anyway, I'm just sneaking into the. K here through a little lagoon um, into like a little sand lagoon and I'll probably fill it up the fish um, keep the frames I'll chuck them somewhere else especially if I'm gonna have to swim around or whatever and uh, just settle in it's absolutely beautiful here and watch that sunset in a couple of hours I get the little uh, dinghy off the roof have a squirt round. Um, there's no one on the K. There's another boat here. It doesn't look like they're staying overnight. I don't know, but um, I'll give you a look. Hang on. So she's a pearler. I'm just going to find a good spot to anchor and then uh, go from there. All right, just drop the anchor. Yeah, have a little spot. How good is this? Absolutely beautiful. So I'll just wait for that anchor to settle and then go for a little swim, I think, and fill up those fish. How good is this? In the sun, but um, we might be able to do something about that. What's the water? The water is 29 degrees, so it's not even that refreshing. All right, let's see what we got. One dirty. Okay, there's one. 
So I just got halfway through filling that fish and my SD card filled up. I'm a rookie because I brought another card, but it uh, says it's full. I don't know why. I thought I'd delete everything. But, oh well, that's what you get. First time filming it all and something's got to go wrong. Anyway, so I deleted some crap that was really long swimming around at the first spot. Um, I filled up them fish. I got the filts off. I also kept the skins. I want to try it. The skin crackling that I've seen a few times done. I've never had it. I don't know how much salt they need because I don't think I've got any salt, but in hot oil, it should be great. We'll have a look. I'm going to um, get this little dinghy off, go to the, the K and have a bit of a swim. I think I'm cooking hot. I'm going to make this namus. So I'm going to cut up some stuff. And put it in here, let it sit in the fridge while I go for a swim. All right, that's one fillet. I'll save the other one for maybe dinner and the other fish, I don't know, maybe tomorrow I'll throw it in the freezer at home. But So I'm gonna chop up lime, orange, squeeze them in there, lemon squeeze in there, a bit of garlic, red onion's good, and that little bit of chili, probably half of him, and then let it sit in the fridge while I go for a swim. And then when I come back, we will enjoy. Oh. Well, first pull on the little motor. Snap the pull cord. Here's the little bit that I've taken off. Hopefully it works now. I've just retied a new section in there. So, retied a new section in there. And, um, see so how we go. Throw it back on there and See if I can get to the cave this time. Alright. Ah, it's working. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's tight. I don't know how much shit you'd probably get in here, but... Alright, on the K. Boat's out there. It's pretty beautiful. But might get some rain overnight. But it's a nice afternoon on the K. Alright, so I made it to the spot where I'm gonna stay tonight. Um, bring over the little dinghy and uh, I'm just chilling out on my own my own little beach. Absolutely beautiful. The sun disappeared behind the cloud, which is probably a good thing. It might be a pretty cool sunset as it goes down though, over there. But have a look around. Boats out there, just chilling. And um, it's in about two meters of water. It's only dropping 800, so it should be fine to stay there anchored. Water temperature is actually pretty nice. Cooling off. It's awesome. I'm going to um, head back in a minute and check on that Namus. Might have a bit of a snack. And then um, grab a rod. I think I've got to flick some of these reefs before I, before I have dinner. There's a time to try the Namus. It's been in there a little bit. Let's see what it smells like. Probably could cook a little longer by the look of it. I'm gonna try it anyway. Mmm. Let's try it. Oh. So fresh. So good. Alright, let's sit a little bit longer. Alright, don't have any salt to salt these, but let's just see how they go in the oil. 
They kill not like crackling. Well, there's trout skin crackling. They look pretty crazy. I'm gonna wait for one to cool down. I'm gonna try this one maybe. Pretty fucking good. Man, these poor crackling tasting trout skins are amazing. I don't know who thought of it, but good idea. Well, I gotta sort myself out. I'm... SD cards filling up, batteries are dying, all kinds of stuff. But anyway, that's the sunset. Sort of just set. It was absolutely beautiful. Sitting there, and I just made a wrap fish wrap smash that it was absolutely awesome i think this is actually it for the st though so i'm probably going to sign off here and what a cracker day i'm just going to have a good night's sleep do some more in the morning and head home